Hello, my beautiful Pisces dragons. Welcome to your August reading. So let's go ahead and get some cards for you. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for your support. And let's go, shall we? Let's go. So, hmm. One more card, please. So please remember the bonuses are in effect. So please like and subscribe. It's free. And um, yeah. And that's how I determine bonuses. I only have time for six. So let's see. So orphaned the tribe and deep knowing. So uh, I feel like you've been let down by um, family maybe friends, close, close people, right? People he would classify as your, your tribe, right? And, um, but I think that, I think that you're coming to an understanding of it. I think that you're getting beyond the sadness and you're having a much better understanding of exactly the dynamics of it. Come on, two more cards, please. Come on, one, two, three. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Adjustments are required. You and your loved ones are safe. You are good enough. You know that you're good enough. So through understanding why all this happened, you're starting to realize that this had nothing to do with you. And I think in the past, you might have um, almost held yourself accountable or blamed yourself a little bit. And you're really seeing that it actually isn't you. You are good enough. You and your loved ones are safe, the tribe, right? This could be separate tribes or whatever, but, and adjustments are required. Again, I think it's, um, just just what's around you, who's around you. You might be learning and growing from some things that have been happening um, in your life. Um, maybe you're meeting up with some old friends or you're learning some things about people or family members. Like it's a huge growth moment for you and seeing exactly what everybody else has sort of been through. So you might have thought one thing. Yeah, look, the truth is totally coming out. Yeah, like you're you're seeing um like there's a lot of forgiveness and a lot of hope coming back. Yeah. You might be traveling. You might be traveling, but you're seeing a lot of expansion, a lot of vision, right? Huge changes. Yeah, and you're getting past, you're getting past all the negativity that happened here, right? You're, you're getting past it all. The Ace of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're seeing it all clearly from a new perspective and how your perspective actually helped create a little bit of imbalance. But um, not to blame, just going, oh, wow, I was off with that. I didn't see that whole story right? So that card really wants to come out. What is it? Okay. And the reason I flip it, because sometimes I flip them the wrong way. So I like to flip them the right way. Yeah. You're working really hard at it. You're working really hard at it. And this is a great card for moving for the queen. Whoa, the queen of wands. Yeah. It's almost like you're moving ahead with, um, like, like you're getting, like you're, 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 you're becoming such a wonderful person. And it's not that you weren't. It's just that now you really know you are. You do know and you're you're becoming. That's all I'm hearing is you're becoming. I'm going to pick these up. It's very humid here. So, yeah, you're finding your community. Yeah. And you're going deeper. You're connecting with your spiritual self. You're using your in intuition. You're, um, 
you're, you're really just, maybe you've been thinking about starting a tarot channel, something in the intuitive arts, right? Um, but you're, it's like you're, you're finding yourself again, Pisces. And this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous reading. Um, yeah. And might I also add, this is you, High Priestess. Okay. It's a beautiful, anything else? No, I just heard switch decks. Okay. You guys have been through something though, or like a lifetime of something, or maybe a few lifetimes of some things, but it's like, it's all like, yeah, look, your three of wands came out again. You really might be like, um, you're just expanding like in so many ways. So, and it, you're also moving forward in relationships. Okay. So this is all about forward movement, right? It could be also in, in career too, but it's about in um, passion, creation, right? So travel, career. The lovers in reverse came out here and um, the lovers in reverse is about you uniting with you. It's about you choosing you. Um, this could also, for some of you, be something to do with a breakup. Okay, so this is, I have to say it, it's general reading, so... Um, but this is about the two parts of you coming together. So it's like beautiful and brainy, right? Strong and gentle, right? Your contradicting parts are coming together, okay? Um, over here, we have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, like, there is still this, um, this really, um, bitchy, can I say that? A, a really, um, manipulative, um, cold-hearted energy, um, down here. I don't know what this has to do with it. I'm trying to ask. Sorry, guys. I don't think it's a specific person, but it's something that happened that caused a lot of chaos for you. Four pentacles in reverse and the hierophant. Um, make sure you're not holding on too tight to uh, your marriage. Okay, Make sure that you're not holding on so tight that you're actually giving your power away. Okay, Make sure that you find a partnership with spiritual wisdom first. Okay? So um, that's your advice for right now. Okay? Like I think that's more than enough advice for an entire month, let alone... Uh, until you get your mid month. Yeah. So please do like, and subscribe. Um, I love hearing your comments and I will see you in your mid month reading. Thank you so much, my beautiful Pisces.